because we want to protect children like us and make sure they're healthy and safe. Over the years, states like California have banned smoking in cars with children. But after coming to Delaware from New York, one Colonial School District teacher made it her mission to try and make a change for Delaware's youth. When I first started here about 10 years ago, I came from New York and I saw a parent in the parking lot smoking with a child in the car. And I immediately called the secretary and said, hey, is this allowed in Delaware? And she said it was. So I was like, oh, well, let's change that. Each year, Leanne Vitti had her students research and write letters to legislators about the effects of secondhand smoke. It infects us because like um, some people, like if they smoke in the cars and stuff, it can cause like health issues like um, lung cancer, asthma and cancer like that and stuff. And kids should be have like their, have the right to like breathe clean air and stuff. This year, she finally got some traction after Representative Kevin Hensley decided to sponsor House Bill 118, an act that would prohibit smoking in vehicles when a minor is inside. She, along with her entire class, were invited down to Legislative Hall to read their speeches on the House floor. Many people kind of aware of the dangers of smoke, but there not, may not be the same awareness about secondhand smoke. According to Cleveland Clinic, the smoke that burns off the end of a cigarette or cigar contains more harmful substances than the smoke inhaled by the smoker. Cigarette smoking is responsible for more than 480,000 deaths per year in the United States, including more than 41,000 deaths resulting from secondhand smoke exposure. After listening to their speeches, the bill passed with an almost unanimous vote. And then after they heard all of our speeches, they said yes and they asked us to um, take it one step farther and like make it the way like pregnant women can't smoke in the car because that can like make it bad for their unborn babies too. It was amazing. They all did a really wonderful job. They, they were like professional while they were in there. They enjoyed being there. They spoke really well. They got a lot of praise from the representatives and I'm really proud of them. House Bill 118 is now headed to the Senate floor, and if it passes, Ms. Vitti and her class's hopes are that Governor Carney will come to the school himself to sign it into law. And if that day does happen, well, you can bet that DETV will be there to cover it. Outside of Kathleen Wilbur Elementary School in Newcastle, Delaware with DETV, I'm Kaylin Pride.